Hey, hey. <clears throat> What's up? What's up, everybody? It's your boy OG. Gangster, straight out of Compton. Uh, coming coming at y'all from OG ENT TV. For y'all that haven't subscribed, man, hit that subscribe button, man. Hit the notification button, man. <clears throat> and tap in with your boy, man. Tap in with your boy. Yeah. What's going on, man? It's raining, catching dogs out here, thundering and lightning. I'm like, man, this California, Southern California, <laughs> Jesus, man, Ooh. I had to cut the heater on. It got cold up in this bi. Hmm. Yeah, it's all good though. You know, friend, what's going on with y'all out there, man? You know, for all for all y'all out there that uh. Uh, Michelle, Michelle, my bell. What's up, Michelle? What's going down? Comrade Maxio, what's going down, man? Huh? Man, you feeling better, my brother? Man, it's rain, man. It's raining so hard out here, man. Thunder and lightning. I'm like, oh, my goodness. They say when it's thunder, the devil, the devil beating his wife. <laughs> Hey, that's what they say. <laughs> the devil down there whooping on wifey, man. He going to jail. <laughs> uh, say it's 65 there, huh? But Ella Wendy, okay. Say it never rains in Southern California, huh? That's what they say. I don't know. They might have to remake that song because it's been raining like hell. Street Smart, man. Hey, Street Smart Square guy, where you been, man? What's happening? We need all y'all veteran OG G riders, man, back up in here, man. We calling on all y'all. We need y'all help. You know what I'm saying? What's going down? Antonio, what up, dog? What's going on? Comrade said, "Yeah, sir, I'm feeling a little. I'm feeling a little better. Okay, yeah, yeah. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Uh huh. Thank you, Jesus. Is us, <laughs> Jesus. Double D, what's up, baby? Mister One Six O, man, what's up? What's up, Mister One Six O, man? What's going on with you, my brother?" My brother from another mother. What's happening? Mm. All my brothers and sisters on this joint, man. Huh. Oh, yeah. Damn, boy. That rain. Mm. Supposed to be over tonight, though. And it's supposed to be cool until Monday. It's supposed to start back rain, roll to rain again Monday. So, you know, we're going to see. We're going to see what it do, man. We're going to make it do what it do. Huh. Mm, look like I only got one wrench in here. We only got one security. Oh, working, got another job working seven days a week. All right. I know you ain't you I know you ain't forgot got you ain't forgot to donate for the for this for the center, have you? Have you? I know you I know hey. Uh, Street Smart Square guy. No, you ain't forgot to donate. That, to hit that GoFundMe. There's going to be a link in here. Don't go on, hit go donate that $20 for the month, man. Yeah, we got we got to open up this, this, this uh, vocational center for these youngsters. Marcus 118, what's up, baby? Huh, what's cracking? Real G Riders? Nope. Okay, well, it's time you got go. Hey. Don't trip. They gonna we gonna put the we gonna put the link up here for the GoFundMe. It's just twenty dollars a month, homie. That's it. We ain't gonna break nobody. We don't want your. We don't want the firstborn kid. <laughs> Ooh, baby, baby, baby. I got the feeling, man. I wanted to blow some motherfucking oldies and shit tonight, man. But we'll do the we'll we'll probably do that tomorrow. Oh no, I got off, oh, man. I'll be, I'll be, uh, I might be, uh, 
doing it live from the studio tomorrow. I'm supposed to be up in the studio with my female artist, True Faith, tomorrow, but I don't know. I might have to cancel that. I don't know. But any, well, if I do, I'm going to go live up in there. If I don't, I'm going to go live here. So it don't matter. I'm going live. <laughs> ah, no matter what. Uh-huh. All love, Street Smart Square guy. You know that. We family up in this joint, man. Oh yeah, I got a big announcement to make too. I'm dropping, I'm dropping the uh, OG Entertainment compilation tape, man. You know what I'm saying? On the first, on all all platforms, huh? On all plat, and it's hey, homie, get it. I'm uh, I'll let y'all know about it a little later on when every when we everybody get up in here. Conrad said, hello, Michelle. How are you? <laughs> Marcus say, hey, Michelle, salute. <laughs> I just say, hello. Huh. Hell to the O. Yeah, I'm bringing, I'm bringing the homie dog, Bodacious Bubs. You know what I'm saying? One of Compton's finest up in here tonight, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, one of Compton OGs. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk a little bit about, you know what I'm saying? Who benefits from this gangbanging shit, man? Because <laughs> we don't. We definitely don't benefit. Yeah. Well, we're going to get all the tools and fuels in. Then I'm going to bring them in when we start the program. Nope, because, uh, God damn it, man. Hmm. <laughs> Conrad makes you say, how you know I said it like that, G? Because that's the way you wrote it. <laughs> hey, that's the way you wrote it. <laughs> oh, well, <clears throat> Antonio was like, uh, I'm going to tap back in in a minute, uh, big, big for sure, baby. But you don't want to miss this one. Oh, yeah. Y'all hit them like buttons coming up in the desires note, mate. Mm. Hit them coming in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Morgan say, I wasn't that aggressive shit. That, hey, that's the way you wrote it. <laughs> so that's that's the way I said it. <laughs> I'm I'm just, hey, I'm just saying it the way y'all write it. <laughs> yeah, maybe, may, maybe though, maybe. Too late, baby. Bye bye. Now's my time to go. Um, oh, what Caleb at? What Caleb at? Man, what Snoopy Mac at? Where RDL at? Where Lakeisha at? Oh, man, that, that, hey, that's for securities, man. I got more security up in here, but I know she's trapped. I know Michelle got that 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 thing thing, so we ain't, we ain't tripping. I know she got my back, so I ain't worried about it. That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you don't need a lot. Sometimes all you need is one. Yeah, real talk. Mm-hmm. Now's my time to go. Hey, 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 Marcus. You remember last week when I did the show about the legends, right? About about the street legend. I mean, the lowrider legends. And I said I was going to do a, uh, I was going to do a podcast on my homie Zeus, right? Guess who's doing one on Zeus tonight, man? Guess who doing one on Zeus tonight, man? Boy, this shit crazy, man. And the nigga, he don't even really know. He don't know, cuz. Not like that. This shit crazy, man. I can't even start saying, I got to stop saying what I'm going to do. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. But I'm still going to do it. 
I'm still going to do mine on him because that's, that's the homie. You know what I'm saying? We raised that little motherfucker, homie. We made him the low rider he is. You know? Marcus say, I seen it already. I meant to call you yesterday because homie didn't, didn't low ride. Man, man, yeah. No, he ain't low ride. Hey, it is what it is, though, you know. Hey, what can you say? Big John, what's going on, man? Where you been at, Big John? Did I miss you? Did, did you miss out last night, man? Yeah, you missed out, man. Cause we 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 had we had man we had a ball last night man we had the G riders up on the screen with me you know what I'm saying but we're gonna do that more often anyway though you know what I'm saying we're gonna do that nothing now watch everybody else podcast bring their people up there <laughs> oh boy hey it is what it is baby yeah huh. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't Cal Mack. No, it was that other, the other, the other one, the other one. It wasn't Cal Mack. Uh huh. It's all good though, baby. Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Just do it, up city style, baby. You already know. It don't stop to the last drop, huh? And then we're going to fill it right back up, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's going on with y'all out there tonight, man? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm wondering what, my, what, what happened to my other securities. Huh? Okay, there goes Snoopy Max. G Rider, stand up. That's right. Huh? Joe Arts, what's up, baby? The big payback 67 checking in. Huh? Keeping down on what you would do. keep doing what you're doing without a doubt, baby. You know that. Huh? Mitty say, what up, OG? What up, Mitty? What's going on with you? Huh? Rain ain't clearing up over here, man. It's been thundering and lightning and some more shit, man. Seconds ago. Say Trump got indicted. Thank Jesus. Yeah, that bum motherfucker got indicted. He should have been indicted a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? He been doing, Trump been doing scandalous stuff, man. He been doing it. It ain't stopped. No. Huh. But uh, he's still running for president because he know, you know what I'm saying. This case is gonna take a minute. He know if he if he if he run for president and if he win, case gone. Ha! <laughs> the case is gone. You know what I'm saying. So he putting everything in his mama. You know he putting everything in his mama. In this when the fool made a speech like two weeks ago, talking we give finally giving them giving blacks credit. Talking about we 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 basically built this country. I couldn't believe that that came out of his mouth, but it did. Hey, motherfuckers do drastic things when it's, when when their ass is on the line, man, and that's real. The man straight said that we that we basically built this country, man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't been why you ain't been gave us problems, man. Why when you wasn't in office, you wasn't trying to get us our reparations, give us our forty acres in a mule, or forty acres in a Porsche, <laughs> whatever, whatever you want, whatever you want to make that mule into, forty acres in a Benz, <laughs> man, for real. Yeah, that's good. He indicted. Ke Lakeisha, what's up? I'm on the south side, Village. Up in here. One band, one sound. Big West, Snoopy Mac. Hey, watching y'all see these hoodies, boy, with that G Riders embroidered like this, like this. That G Riders embroidered coming across, huh? With the G Rider heads to match, embroidered, bam. Huh? With that one band, one sound on the hoodie, huh? I don't know, coming across the top of the hoodie, one man. That's that's in honor of Big West, man. 
That's in honor of Big West all day, homie. Mm hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I'm down. Man, I feel like bumping some oldies. Oh, oof. Can you feel it? <laughs> Mark, you say they got a rag seven down here for sale. Is it a super sport? Mm. Antonio say he back. That's right. He's back. Big John say I will never vote Democrat again. You can't vote nothing then. Because y'all know you ain't going to vote Republicans. They damn sure don't give a damn about us. Uh, Willie Robinson say he wants us to ride for him. Man, I'm going yeah, yeah, to ride, all right. Ride my ride, ride a foot somewhere. Yeah. That's about all the riding he's getting from me. No, 1,000, baby. Don't forget to get them books, man. Get them books. <clears throat> oh, Michelle say 40 acres in the low rider, huh? Huh? Over bins or porch. That's right. Give me 40 acres in the rag uh, uh, 59. Huh? 40 acres in a rag, 59, baby. Huh, and we straight. We ill. Yeah, no, nah, Bob Barack Obama didn't do nothing. He was so busy trying to, you know what I'm saying, uh, control what was going on, well, you know what I'm saying, with the Latin's life, than, than his own people life. I ain't mad at the Latin's. I'm like, oh, he, the, he the one that's a piece of crap. I've been, man, I was so uh, disappointed in my Obama, man, you know, because it's like, okay, I know you can, you know, the first the first term, you got to play it off, be a little goody-goody because you want to run for the second term. But once you win the second term, man, everything, shirt coming off, belt coming off, we butt naked out here, <laughs> swinging. Like, what, like, what's that? <laughs> He didn't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? He tucked it and probably shoved it in his ass. You know what I'm saying? For real. Because he is he was he was he was he was trying to do more more, more for the uh the, the gay community than anybody. Talking about oh he he came around. How you been a Christian all your life and you just come around when you run a president to, 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 to change your views? Man, I'm mad at you, Obama. I don't give a damn. I'm mad at you, man. You fucked. You messed up, man. You messed up, man. You messed up for real. You probably gonna be you do the first. You was the first, and probably gonna be the only other black president ever. And you know it, cause you blew it for the rest of them. Rest in peace, Big West, baby. Always on the go. Say, yo, what the hell is up, OG? What's going on? Always on the go. What's happening with you? Richard Wire, what well, yeah. Hey, what's up, baby? Richard Wire in the house. Huh? What up, G and the G Riders family? What's going on, Rich? What's going on with you? Uh-huh. Man, Trump, Trump better, Trump better try to do something because Trump, 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 if Trump don't win the presidency, he's going to prison. And he going you know, he probably end up dying in prison. Only way gonna get him up out of this. It's win that presidency, man. Ray Ski say, hey, what up, OG? Long time no see. 
I just got out of that jam, did three months, huh? We don't need to be in no jams, baby. We ain't trying to do another dizzy. Not another day, homie. We on for real. You know what I'm saying? We ain't we hey, that 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 life, that part of our life, hey, that's behind us, right? You know what I'm saying? That's real. But y'all hit them like buttons coming up in this joint, man. Street Smart Square Guy, Bump BB, and Q Band Genie. Bump BB and Q. I, ain't, I don't think I heard that. Hey, Snoopy Mac, put that link up for the uh, for the GoFundMe, man. Put that link up for the GoFundMe. Huh? Yeah, Michelle. Tell them, Michelle. G Riders hoodies and t-shirts, man. I got the well hoodies and t-shirts. Watching y'all see these hoodies and I come bust on y'all. Yeah, cause I'm sure gonna bust on y'all. Boom. <laughs> Here you go. Huh. Yeah. Mick John say forty acres in a, in a fifty six rag. That's right. Yeah, throw it and they won't know it. Conrad said Obama was for the sidewalk sissies. Yeah, he sure was, was. He damn sure wasn't for us. The Keisha said New York Kingpin Mecca was pardoned from President Trump. Man, they probably paid him. Everybody that got pardoned got paid, paid Trump up. You know what I'm saying? I man. Yeah. Everybody that got pardoned, man. Allegedly, I gotta say allegedly. <laughs> Everybody that got pardoned allegedly paid Trump so. That go that go go for me right there, everybody. Man, we gotta keep on, we gotta keep on putting something in that thing, man. Yeah. We got to keep putting something in that thing. Yeah, but hey, everybody letting y'all know I'm dropping my first my first compilation album. Well, CD is going to drop April the 1st. It's in all stores. It's nine songs, and it is, it's called OG Entertainment Compilation Volume 1. OG Entertainment Compilation Volume 1. I guarantee you're going to like it. Guarantee. Guarantee it. Yeah. Y'all check that out. April the 1st, go pick up that app. Go pick up that that, that, that CD, however you want to get it. Download it, whatever. But go get that. You know what I'm saying? Go get that. Morgan said he found the SS. Okay. Yeah, well, I can't even fuck with it. I'm doing none of that while I'm on the stream, y'all. <laughs> John said Obama first gay president. I ain't gonna put him out there like that. He ain't gay, you know, but he did some gay shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Castro say he said it's luck. Hey, Castro, where did you go last night, man? We was trying to pull you in uh up here on up here uh, to talk with us, man. Put you on screen with us, man. And you just you disappeared on me. And at the wrong time. Captain say duck Donald Trump. I don't need nothing from him. He's just stuck between the rock and the hard place. He don't mean it. If he did, he would have been said that period. Man, man, Donald Trump can save it. He can save it. He ain't got nothing to say. There you go. Caleb, where you at? There you go. Hey, hey, Caleb, put that uh, put that link to StreamYard up here, man. Oh, that's this big West wife. Mm 
Yeah, that, that was Big West's wife. I told her I'd call her back. Yeah, see what's going on. Yeah, uh, but Will Castro saying at the same time Trump came in doing stuff left and right, the first term using executive orders, uh, but Obama can't do nothing. Yeah, right. He could have. He could have. I didn't expect him to do it the first term, but the second term, I expected it. You know? First term, he got to be cool so he can get the second term. You know what I'm saying? But the second term came, zero. We got zero. Hey, Caleb, do I got to send you the link? I just I just sent it to you, Caleb. BC Reef say, what up, gangster? Huh? Checking you out early. What's up, BC Reef? What's going on with you? Say President Trump freed many black. Kingpins from federal prison, USP Victorville, huh? Yeah, but uh, allegedly, I don't think it was free. Anthony Howard tapping in. What's up, homeboy? Huh? Say 100, 1,000, one love for uh, G Riders. Ray, Ray Ski said, I know. Oh, gee, you right. Some more foes was testing. I had to let them know how I was coming. More foes snitched on me, man. But I got out, did three months, got, got trail in a few months, trial in a few months. Man, yeah, we got to get away from all that shit, man. Man, we got to get away from that. You know? That's real. Marcus 118, it was cool with you, G, and the G Riders on the live yesterday. Enjoyed that. Oh, yeah, we're going to do that more often, man. 91722, huh? I'm representing Malcolm X side of the G Riders movement. Huh? I'm calling all G Riders, huh? Was, was we going to call it? X Force. <laughs> Gee, we need your blessings. We don't need no violence, homie. We need we need soldiers. We need down brothers. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just in case for the bullshit. But we ain't initiating no violence at all. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we that we show sure need it. We need it. Richard Wise say, uh, 
for sure we gotta we gotta do it more do it often on more often on me. Mm. Mm-hmm. Paris Jackson say, what up, gangster? It was cool seeing some of the G Riders on the show last night. Oh yeah. Huh, young bodacious. What's up, homie? Young bodacious. Can you hear me? Oh. Yeah. What's up? What's up, baby? Oh, nothing, you know. Just uh take it one day at a time. You know, I want you know, for those that don't for those that don't know the man, the myth and the legend. <laughs> yeah, this is my That's why I didn't want I didn't want to start because you're gonna have me blushing and laughing, all my <laughs> reputation getting ready to go down the drain. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this, this my big homie right here, OG Bodacious Bubs. You know, well, OG Compton, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Chris and I is OG Compton Crip. Well, let, let, let's let's correct that. Hey, Crips. We just I'm not have, active. I'm, I'm not active. Let's, let's correct that because some people think I'm still banging. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a former <laughs> Crip. I'm, I'm, I'm not active. But yes, I, I, you know, I represent the blue to the fullest. You yeah, know, yeah. I, I never wavered, you know, and, and it's, it's, it's a trip because my big homies, which are the founders, you know, uh, Bruno, uh, Raymond Washington took you out, took he made, stayed in Compton a lot. Raymond Washington didn't, I didn't meet him like that, you know, I've seen him do things like at concerts or whatever. Yeah, but Tookie actually, I've actually met him and certain cats like that. I always walk, I mean, you can go, my brother Spud, yeah, uh, Turtle, even my brother Tick. I, I always gave the utmost respect. And it, I think my, my, my respect was like impeccable. You know what I'm saying? Because I never marked out, you know, now I've lost a few fights. Don't get me wrong. I've lost some fights and I've won a few. I, I won more than I lost. I'll just put it that way. Yeah. So I, 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 that all that is gone now. You know what I'm saying? Because you have older cats now that it, just basically doing different stuff, trying to live a little bit. You know, we spent a lot of time behind that wall. Yeah. So we're trying to live a little bit, but we still go back and do what we have to do to try to curb as much sense of skilling as we can. But you, you know what I trip off, Bob? That's, you know me, and you know I ain't gonna just bring anybody on my platform. Right, you know what I'm saying? I already know that. You got a lot of these dudes, homie, that's coming out the woodworks, Talking about they are OGs and all this. Yeah, you might have been back then and you was OG, but you, you homie, you were you ain't got no no business on here talking about shit because you wasn't you wasn't you wasn't in it like that. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? A lot of these people, but you know, mother, you know, people out of state uh, they don't know. You well, know, they they think this is a real OG that was stomping the pavement, putting that work in. When and when the facts is, man, you ain't did nothing, homie. You shouldn't even be on the platforms. And, and what surprised me the most, G, is they know we know they wasn't putting in the work and none of that, or what they wasn't about their life. And I'm I'm not going because I'm I'm, I'm pro black now. You know what I'm saying? I'm Afro Semitic. You know what I'm saying? All the above. I've grown. So I don't look at things out the same lens that I used to, because I believe in violence. I, I ain't gonna lie, I believe in violence firsthand. It's the only thing that immediately stopped the, the threat instantly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, that's why the government uses it. You know what I'm saying? You know, so I'm, I'm not a non-violent person, but I'm, in the, I'm more in the self-defense. I don't start nothing no more. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I, I'm like, if certain people, you sit there and say certain things, and cats like you and I, G, we've actually coexisted way before I want to call. It. So these dudes are clout chasing on, on, on the money. They try. I, I respect the hustle. Don't get me wrong. I respect the hustle 110%. But it's your integrity and character 
that eventually down the line, your Takaki Six Nines, your Shug Knights, your, your all these other guys that, that that busted out. You know, you may have started off uh, running the hundred, but you was a quarter horse. You didn't finish. It's not mm -hmm. how you start, how you finish. Yeah. So it, they look at us like right in my face and say these stories when I was like, homie, you wasn't there. Yeah, you wasn't there. And I'm not gonna throw you under the bus because I'll talk to you privately. You know, yeah. I still live by the code. There's a code we live by. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You call it the G code, and that's what it is, though. Really, it's the G code. You know what I'm it's the G code. It's the G code. From day one. Yeah. It's the G code. We yeah. live by that. We paved the sidewalks. You know what I'm saying? So the sidewalks with that, and um, I just you know I I I don't get it. I don't get it because, and eventually cats are start now start to backfire on them. Cats start to run up on these cats. You look at the cocky six nine. You ain't about that like they catch you in the bathroom with some Daisy Dukes on. You know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> yeah. that, that looks almost sexual to me. You know what I'm saying? Perverted. You know. So, but you you this Pyru dude, and you 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 cats. I, I still can't figure out how you make money and get into the gang life. Because all the gangsters that made money, we out of here. You know what I'm saying? We, we out of here. We already knew the streets was undefeated. So it, it's, it's a lot of this like there's a brother on here right now named Ray C. He caught a case, just did a violation, but he still got court. He said, because I was selling him, man, that jail shit is over. Yeah. But he said, you know, I'm trying to change, brother. It's hard, man. If I have to go sit a while, it's going to suck. Yeah, it sure is going to suck. You know, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Hey, at the end of the day, homie, you got to make that conscious choice, homie. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what I'm saying? It ain't... It Nothing, it ain't nothing wrong, you know what I'm saying? With looks, we're getting the nine to five. No, you know, like me and Bubs, we got nine to fives, we got our own businesses too, though. But right. even if you don't have your own business, homie, ain't nothing nine to five, homie. You you yeah. got guaranteed money coming, you know, and you ain't gotta worry about looking over your back. Yeah, well, yeah. that's true. That's true. And that's the direction. Like you said, I know, you know, the nonprofits we'd have been through the, the just and, and I'm so let me humble myself in, in, a little bit more because it's such an honor to be able to talk with you like this for what we accomplished since we've been back out. Jeez. Yeah. You if, if 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 I got a I got on my Facebook the homies that didn't make it. Yeah. I pay homage to all the dead homies. You know what I'm saying? I don't broadcast it or nothing because my love is to them personally. Yeah, we act, we interacted, and, and a lot of these cats that call themselves gang. See, there's two. This G, like you know, there's gang members, and there's gang bangers. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of these dudes were billboards. You dress the hood. You you know you represent. You can see walk. You can throw it up. You know what I'm saying? You crit was some better than me. Yeah, but you wasn't none of the battles. But you were. But when it's battle time, <laughs> I I can't see him. <laughs> 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 What and, and, and it's, it's a trip because I got battle scars mentally, physically, emotionally, traumatized the whole nine yards. You know what I'm saying? But I learned to live with it and I respect it because it made me a better person. But that's trauma. You know what I'm saying? You walk up, I, there's times I walk down the street and look back, it's six cars of pie root and red rags, jump out the car. What I'm gonna do? Only thing they were so gangster with it, they would see because me and Diamond, it was on site with us. You know what I'm saying? They were like, okay, y'all two get down. He went a couple, I went a couple. We see, we became friends after a while. You know what I'm saying? After you get older, but that's how it was. Sometimes it wasn't. Sometimes they catch me on Santa Fe and Pine. You know what I'm saying? I'm going over to Big Homie Wolf House. We low ride back in the day, you know, going up from Penn me, Don, and, and Smiley, KB Big Brother. They catch me on Santa Fe and, uh, and, uh, and Palmer. It was so many of them, I just balled up. They started beating each other. It was so many of them. Little yeah. George got to run me over with a Volkswagen, and I dipped through the crowd and break. <laughs> but I'm lumped up. I'm looking like Martin, you know what I'm saying, when he fought Tommy Hearns. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? But, you know, you respect that. That's what I signed up for. That's what I signed up for. That was me. I, I enjoyed that. You know what I'm saying? And I know both sides of the coin, even the doing the time part. I didn't whine about it. 
yeah. I had to take the bitter with the sweet, but I knew what I was doing. And then as, even after I get in inside, you know, like we hit the mouth, we hit 48. It's Compton, you know, to, to death. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? All day. You know, yeah, all day you know, long. We represented to the fullest, homie, in the mob, in, out of jail, and anywhere we was at. L.A., it didn't matter. We could have been in, in Honolulu. It wouldn't mm -hmm. have mattered. We well, were see, ready to go. What I really want to talk about tonight, Bubs, is at the end of the day, homie, when you know better, you do better. Exactly. You know what I mean? But I just want to get these youngsters to see, homie, who the fuck is benefiting from this gang bang? Because we not. I tell you who benefit the more uh, the jailhouses, police departments, um, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the funeral homes. Hello. They they the ones that benefit from this. Exactly. You we know look. What I'm saying, the police department. I lay when I, I was laying up in my cell in MDC, homie, in 2001, man, just reevaluating my life, thinking about all the homies that passed, and man, I just, I just, and just thinking about this gang and shit, man, and what they say, you get an epiphany. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? It came to me, and this, these two thoughts came to my mind, man. Why the fuck would I want? Why would I want to kill another brother, or, or anybody, or hurt a mother, or hurt another brother, in any shape, form, or fashion, because he wearing a different color, or he live on a different street? When you think about that in them terms, because that's what gang banging is about now. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Color in the street. And really, it really ain't even about the color no more because you got these guys and went crazy. Crips wearing red and everything. I'm like, oh my God, man, the homies turning over in their graves. Yeah. You know? And these guys are all about old times and change. No, it ain't change, homie. Y'all just y'all just ain't real with it. Well, the game's the same as different players. You yeah, know exactly. What I'm and them yeah, players, players. They, they they not, man. They not living by the G code. <laughs> When we come up, it was just straight anything red. Yeah, anything. You anything know I mean? red. We to, hey, we frowned on when they had the Levi's and we took the little red tag off them. Remember the little red <laughs> tag on the back? You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. We take did. the little red Levi tag off. Can't even have them on the Levi's. Hey, no. Yeah. Hey, no. You know. But, but like I, I, said, and, I, and I, I, trip, I trip off homies that should know better than do it, though, homie. Yeah. Yeah. That the youngsters don't know no better. But they, the homies, there's older homies that should know better, homie, and they still do it. And they holler about man, it's, it's crazy for me, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like you say, I'm not active, I'm not banging, but it's just some stuff, some stuff hey, I'm not doing. It, it, and I'm gonna tell you how deep it is in you. Because I live, I've been living in Vegas for the last 23 years, basically. And 24 years. And I work, I own my own business, you know what I'm saying? I got the, right now we just, we, we doing turns, like in the houses we can go in and kill them and put them back together, apartments, whatever. Um, but I'm literally, I'm retired. I don't really have to do nothing because I worked at the hospital for, you know, for for a long time and all my work is, so I got injured. So I'm, I'm, I do what I do, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and I'm getting into other things. I want to make a few films, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, we always talk about, Certain yeah. thing we get into. I don't want to publicize it too much. Yeah, yeah. People take your idea and run with it and swear they invented it. You know what I'm saying? So, at, at, at that, what I'm saying is, is that a lot of this stuff, we were kind of born into something. And when it metamorphosized to, it was a love. It was a certain love because we all knew each other. We all grew up each other. We played sports together. You know what I'm saying? We went to school together. And yeah. you had another wave of people that came from other places that don't have that kind of love. So they don't mind shooting up somebody to, or, you know, because I would have to explain when I did something to somebody, I had to go tell their mother. Yeah. So she knew me. She was like, worked at the school district. They knew my mother. You know what I'm saying? And all that. So that's gone. That's basically gone. You know what I'm saying? And what we have to do is show these youngsters that it wasn't a lifestyle. 
You know what I'm saying? It's nothing to be proud of. Yeah. You know, you're doing, it's like you going there and committing suicide. When you're killing your own people, you're committing a genocide, a suicide. Yeah. A suicide. And we got, like you said, you got to come up with another code. We got the G code, but we got to come up with the code of solidarity. Yeah. That means we will do no harm to people that look like us. Yeah, the code, the, the, code, no the, code of, the code of love and respect. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that's what I push on the all the time, us coming together. Right. You know? Because I tell, look, man, I tell people, look, man, we got to start telling our own story. Yeah. They ain't telling our story. They ain't going to never tell the truth. <laughs> if they tell the truth, they going to look like the dirty, scandalous dogs that they really are. So why would they tell the truth? The, 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 the little young white kids growing up don't even know the truth. Right. They, 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 they can't right. tell them the truth. And they're trying to keep it out of schools. They're trying to keep it out of everything, out the books and everything. They ban certain black books and, and schools and stuff. And, and this is where I don't recognize America no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they're losing their grip. And they and America has become um, basically psychopathic and, and, and a sociopath. But you know what, Bob? It's, huh. it's like they do what they do. Because they know that they know that the majority of these brothers and sisters out here are gonna be passive. Well, they 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 made them that way. You know they what I'm saying? Them that way. It's, it's just like when the when the governor of Texas trying to take the word slave and slavery out of all the school books, man, every 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 brother and sister in Texas should have been in an uproar, man. Or left, or just no. left and take the money with them. Exactly. They done hurry up put that back in the book. You got the governor DeSantis, whatever his name is in Florida. Yeah, you know, he, he don't want he don't want the black studies. He don't want the black studies in the colleges, but you got Asian studies, you you know what I'm saying? You you got uh you got all the, all these other different races, but you don't want the black studies in there. Because black people are finding out who they are. You know exactly. We find out know. exactly who we are. When they stripped us, you you got to, and this is why I go all the way back to the origin of everything. When I go study something, I'm going to go to the origin, where it began at. Why are we like this? Why are blacks like this? And I know they created the Negro. The Negro was created like you were talking about Obama. Exactly. And, 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 and this is crazy. because, And you mentioned it. You hit the nail on the head, but I just want to reiterate something. You went to Jeremiah Wright's church for 20 years. He went to a black church for 20 years. And when he went to office to run for president, all of a sudden, because Jeremiah said God is going to damn. Now, he didn't say the bad word. He said God is going to damn America for his past transgressions. Yeah. This is what Jeremiah Wright said. So now Obama can't be linked with that. They're trying to uh, uh, blackball, or I'll say whiteball, Jeremiah Wright. So Michelle and Obama was going to that church for 20 years. And when he started running for president, he stopped going to that church. I left him alone right then. Next thing you know, he voted for same-sex marriage. I never voted for him. I would never get anybody to vote for him. Because now I'm not a Christian, but I believe in God. It's, it's a difference. And I'll get into that maybe some other time. Because I, I, I look at it different. But I'm not a, a God-fearing man. Believe me. I do more with my life more of the Christian doctrine than Christians. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I read the Bible back and forth two or three times. I know it verbatim almost, all the way through. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I, my life has have changed toward that because that's why I started that. You know, the first thing you go to Penn, they hand you a Bible. Yeah. So I kept wondering, what's wrong with me? You know what I'm saying? What's wrong? I can't get it right. But I was what wrong with me. Yeah, I don't know what was wrong with me, and I took a page out of you and Turtle book. You know, I ain't had a beer since '89. Yeah, okay. you know what I'm saying. I, said, I remember Gangster and G and, uh, and Turtle. Now they didn't get high, and at that time I was just the opposite. I looked at you. If you didn't get high, something was wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you remember? You remember? <laughs> but I, I, my perception is keen, so I said, "Well, my sobriety is going to be my success from this day forward." And I have I've been I've been sober for going on thirty something years now. No, you man. Know, and I don't even use profanity, homie. Yeah. You ain't seen me use profanity in thirty years. Yeah. Now I'll say a few words to get my point across, but I, it's not in my everyday vocabulary. 
And I did that to, to sharpen me up. So when I do have conversation or I converse with people, live stream, whatever, I know what the words mean that I'm using. Yes. You know, and that's where a lot of people, they'll use words and don't even know the definition. And it just, it, it don't mean nothing. It really just don't mean nothing. Because people watching, they're watching this. The government is watching this. Everybody watch this. You know what I'm saying? They just can't figure out how we did so much harm to these dudes and they still here. You know what I'm saying? They trying to figure out, okay, now we got what we what what the critical race theory movement is. Now, this is the psycho part about it, G. You got a school, one or two school shootings daily in America. Yeah. Nine-year-old babies. But you don't want to take the AR out the community, but you'll take the, the, the critical race theory out the schools. But you won't take the ARs out the school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I don't recognize America. But I never paid attention to them until 20 years ago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't. I, I could care less about that. That's their business. I got my business. But then they want to keep you null and void so you don't participate in a movement that will teach our children critical race theory. Which they don't even teach it in school, no way. It's up in college, and and, and you be yeah. out of high school for time to get it. They just don't want. See, they call it woke, and they took the narrative. We got the. You, you, you said it. That's why I'm glad I came on. They took the woke narrative, and then painted a picture with the LGBT community, and said, "Yeah, we're going to call this woke." And woke mean that uh, the black people are becoming aware of who we are and who they are. But they're allowing the LGBT community to interact with them, and we don't want to teach homosexuality in the school. You yeah, but, you know, they did the same thing with the civil rights movement. When they, when they, when they did the civil rights movement, they threw in the women's liberation movement with it, the white women. So any movement we make, they sabotage or dismantle or, or destroy. But and, and they be able to destroy it because we 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 allow them to destroy. It. We let them know everything we're doing. We 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 kind of sabotage ourselves, but to, 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 to get back to it is that I'm shocked you won't want the the, the 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 teaching of American history, which you ain't gonna erase that. Remember, I was telling you earlier, it's certain things you ain't gonna never erase. Yeah, but we can't allow them to change to control the narratives. But look, that but they they not even teaching the real American history. No, they That's never did. They not teaching the real about slavery. No, you know what I'm saying. They not. <laughs> they not teaching about how we really built this damn country. Oh, they Trump. Like you said, they, 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 Trump they, got indicted. He talking about it. They talking about it now. Yeah, uh, they, uh, they not telling how they they was over there in Europe living in caves, and they 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 went over there to Africa, and they stole and took everything, whatever they couldn't take, couldn't couldn't take, couldn't steal, they took it, including us. And, exactly, <laughs> including us. Including us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the only reason we're here. Now that there there now some truth is coming out. That's why I say the woke culture. We got to control our narrative. And that's why I say words mean stuff. Woke just means that you became aware, that you're yeah. conscious of yeah. your, your around it and your environment and everything. And they don't want you to know that because now these little white boys starting to feel guilty that their daddy done left them all these businesses that uh, you talk about Fruit of Loom and CH Sugar, whatever it is, CNA they, Sugar. They, they you know, it off all, off all, off all. Right, right. The insurance <laughs> company, Merrill Lynch, Smith Barney, all yeah. these insurance companies, they got our money and stuff. They got to get that back, homie. They got to get that back. That's why I like Tariq Nasheed. I like him. And I don't separate. I like Omar Johnson. And, and we all have problems. And this is what we have to stop doing. And stop downing each other because somebody didn't do what we wanted them to do. Like exactly. Omar Johnson wanted to, um, unless you just get too far to the left or to the right. Omar Johnson trying to build his school. But the brother was putting, he be putting out knowledge. You know what I'm saying? You, got, you ain't got to believe everything a person say. No, Just like every pastor, you don't believe everything a, every exactly. pastor say, but you take what you can get good out of it to enhance your life and enhance the people around you to to build that community that's solid, you know. And 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 that's where I I don't I, uh Rick Nasheed when he got the foundation of Black America I like that I love that he's with the reparation movement I like Umar Johnson he's supposed to be building the school the um. Marcus Garvey schools, uh, I guess so some money things transpired. He didn't do it right or whatever. Everybody said he ran off with the money, but the brother be spitting about homosexuality. 
you know, how to be a man, how not to go for their trap. Yeah. Uh, and this and that, also a lot of good stuff. And it's a lot of brothers out here. You know what I'm saying? Claude Anderson, uh, uh, you got financial people. We got, we, one thing about black people, they want to keep us so separated on the strength that you have to look at when we were slaves, well, enslaved, I'll never say we were slaves. We were enslaved. Let me be politically correct. I remember words is powerful. Yeah. We were enslaved when the Emancipation Proclamation came and, 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 and they freed us like 1860 something. When they gave us some freedoms, they forgot we was the workers that built everything. So we had all the trades. That's why I said we got to get these kids into these trades. We had all the trades that built Black Wall Street. But one trade we didn't build that was our demise, and that's we didn't build an army. We didn't build a defense mechanism. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and, and we know they hate us from because they know who we are. They said, know how great. We just don't know. That's, that that's what I tell everybody on there every night, man. Why do everybody hate us and we haven't, we ain't did nothing to the Germans, nothing to the Italians, you know, nothing to the Irish, <laughs> nothing to the Greeks. We ain't did nothing to nobody, but everybody, nothing to the Jewish people. And they the ones, they should have more compassion than anybody. But, but they, they the ones, that's the beast. But this is the thing, G. And, and that's why I, I read a lot, homie. I read hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of books. I even read our, I'll get a couple other books from me, but I read that other one. Some talk about it. We live it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, I read like a, a book. Yeah. Book, and I was reading about uh, 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 genetic annihilation. And they hate us because we produce color. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We could destroy that. If they didn't have boundaries up, if they didn't have guns, what they call the great equalizer. And they didn't have uh, these uh, all these redlining and financial uh, uh, disparities yeah. they inflict on us. They wouldn't be here. No, so you know, genetically, hey, could we could we basically sex them right on out of here off the planet? That's from sex. You know what I'm saying? We don't need no guns. We ain't got to do no killing. And <laughs> put that pipe down. Actually, we'll bring life. Oh, they, that's why they cut. If you notice in slavery, when you go back, and I'm somewhat of a historian, when they hung black people, they castrated them. Yeah. They cut the phallus off yeah. because it was it was a weapon. Yeah, they used to have them in jars and see what they, show you how sick these people are. You know what I'm saying? They'd have them in jars. They savages. You know what I mean? Bar, they barbaric, and it was a symbol of pr producing. That's what makes us demigods. We're not the Almighty God, but we was created in the image of the Creator. So yeah. we can produce. We can reproduce. Everything got color, but them. Even the tomato got color. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we produce color. If they have, they, if you took somebody of African descent and you got a hundred white people and you just put me on the island with a hundred white people, fifty years from now I'd be beige. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For real, for real, for real, for real, for real. That's what they're afraid of, homie. Yeah. And I used to, I, I, I thought the same way, and I, I still think the same way. Is like, what did we do so bad? You know what I'm saying? For them to come on us like this. They, because we them people, homie. We're godlike. We them people. We we know, and they know they know we them these Jews walking around acting like they us. Right. They had to. But it's it, it, and one thing, I, I I hate to give it to them, but they had a wise wickedness. Because they've been lying to us since we met them. Yeah. And even the natives said they speak with forked tongue, like a snake. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we believe they lies. You know, we got to stop. We got to take the lies out. But you know I'm I'm you too. have you noticed, you know, the Jews run the music industry. Yeah. Oh, you know, I'm aware. Yeah. Have you noticed that they didn't got rid of everything but rap? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know you that? You turn on the TV without hearing rap on it. It ain't it ain't no more love songs. It ain't no more oh, real R and B. It ain't no funk. It ain't, homie, y'all man, this shit has been plotted and planned, don't we? This they, they, is a coincidence. Gee, and that's why I say you got you got to understand who you share this earth with. Yeah, you got to understand them. They know us well. You know what I'm saying? That's and, and one of the things in reparations, 
We need to ask for all our copyrights, everything from the gas mask to the sole on the shoe, the link to the train, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Everything we invented, you know what I'm saying? We need our patents back. Yeah. We need, rap, we need all our rap uh, 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 stuff back. We need to own our stuff. Yeah. Because they manipulate us. Because when you ain't used to having nothing, you know, a, a million dollars bring a lot of happiness to somebody that ain't got ten dollars. Yeah. And we don't know how to act with money. Yeah. We get money. First thing we do is go to our That's why I'm not, I'm not for just financial reparations. I'm for it. You got to add to that. Yeah. Because the fact is, one of my ideas is, and I'm quite sure other, other people think about it because you got scholars just doing this stuff. I like the way Q set his thing up and he was doing it, but they shut him down. You know what I'm saying? Because he's in the entertainment industry. They can stop his bread. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Listen. At the end of the day, homie, I look at it like this, homie. At the end of the day, how much motherfucking bread you need? Right. But at this is the thing. They, they ain't there yet, G. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and, 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 and this is the thing. But Q do some stuff. If you, got, not, look. Hey, if you got two hundred million dollars, homie, you know what I'm saying? Hey, come on, man. Well, Kanye, Kanye showed us. Kanye showed us. Man, I got a billion dollars. I'll, 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 I'll sacrifice five hundred million to get my point across. Yeah. And that's what he did. He's like, man, it ain't about the money. We know how to make money. You can sell lemonade and make money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we 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 dismantled. They dismantled our value system more than in human life. You know what I'm saying? Because you can give somebody killed for five grand right now, easy. You know what I'm saying? And that's crazy because you can get crazy because the money don't even have no value. Hey, you can get somebody killed for for five hundred dollars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I see it for way less. My point is, though, yeah. you know, the, the, the thing I want to get at is that, like I said, you know better, you do better. Yeah. And we have to devalue certain things. Now, you need money to move. Without money, you handicap. Yeah. But you can't put money before humanity. No, you, you know can't. what I'm saying? Because when you start selling out, you know, I, and like I said, I, I watched um, The Black Messiah. And a lot of this stuff I didn't know about uh, with Fred Hampton and them. I knew about the Panthers and stuff, uh, yeah. Huey Newton and all them. But I didn't know how they did Fred Hampton. Because Fred Hampton had a movement to, to, to get the poor some money. Yeah. And what happened is the dude that infiltrated was a brother that infiltrated. They gave him a gas station. The fans gave him a gas station. But you stopped a movement that was going to change the whole uh, culture in America. You know what I'm saying? To where there wouldn't have been no poor. Everybody would have had a bite of the apple. And the only reason if you was poor, you got rich and lost it. You see what I'm saying? So it's certain things that I know now, as far as when you do certain things, even when we did the Confident Power, I was shocked when I heard the city council didn't want us to rebuild Compton. Um, I, was I don't know why I was shocked. I shouldn't have been, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was shocked that they didn't give a damn about uh, about the residents. Right, right. They, they, that, because of they because of their own pettiness. And yeah. Because they, Cause they this, the, the mayor didn't get along with this city councilman, and this city councilman wanted another vote from that city council. So they all got in the Hunter School District, was against the city council, the, the city hall. <laughs> I'm like y'all said tripping harder than we are. Amen. You, know? <laughs> you know, but we learn from that. That's why anything, anything we do now, we're gonna do it ourselves. Like I said, we, we learn from our mistakes. You where you can't take it. Yeah. You can't take it because it's ours. Our mm -hmm. name is on it. You know, your foundation. Can't nobody come take a uh, transition to greatness from you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They can't take stay alive and free from me. That's right. You know, certain things, uh, the Inland Golf Academy, they can't take that from us, from my family, my brothers and them. So the thing is, we got to learn. We, we're not used to having our own. We always used to being dependent on somebody, like children. Like children, because no sooner they take it away from us, we get to whining. Like we, we need a bottle or something. Because when they took it from us, it dismantled everything. Okay. That's, that's, too, much, that's too much power to get them, homie. Yeah, without a doubt. Let's shoot us up. Shoot these. 
Let's shoot oh, these, oh. we gotta shoot these youngsters out here that might watch this. You know what I'm saying? Because I tell them all the time, the gang banging shit is over, man. All you doing, all Stop. you doing is wasting your life. You ruining your life. You ruining somebody else's life. You know what I'm saying? All you brought calls and bringing is hurt and pain, no? That's, yeah. that's all it's doing, man. Yeah. And like you said earlier, man, don't nobody benefit but the penitentiaries, the probation department, the funeral homes, the right. mortuary, the lawyers. Right. You know what I'm saying? They, don't, they, 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 the men, they get, they ain't loving it. Because then people make business Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and and see, we can't leave out the system of uh, 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 white supremacy. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't recognize it. And they think when I say white supremacy, I'm talking about the Klan or the ABs or the Arab Brotherhood. Listen I'm to talking this. about the system. Listen, listen to this. I've been huh? telling them, like, homie, they've been putting their people in positions of power from day one. That's why, that's, <laughs> that don't be surprised because the judge is a Klan. You're right. Oh, the right. DA is a clan? You know what I'm and saying? All the clan the law enforcement. Yeah. I can go in the courtroom, homie, with a white boy, and we got the exact same record. And I can go to prison for 10 years and he can go home on probation. And we got the exact same record. You know what I'm saying? Because they look out for their people, man. Yeah. You, you know, know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Yeah. Black yeah. police. You find it's few and in between. You find a brother police that looks out for his people. You know what I'm saying? Them white police, man, man, they look right. out for their people. Oh. Them white boys talk to them any kind of way. Oh man, man they they, they taught us not man. to be to love your race. They taught us to hate self. They taught us to not love your race, but they sure stick with theirs. They hire who they want to hire, and they, like I said, they built a system. This is one of the most sophisticated systems on the planet because they stuck yeah. together. No matter what, they put all their yeah. money together. We sitting here comparing ourselves to billionaires when these people got 10 trillion. Yeah. They can print what they want to print. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's it, 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 their system. It's going all over everywhere. It's their system. It's their, it's their money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We just got to learn how to capitalize and build something because good things is better than money. You see, you look, know look, homie, I know we need we need money to live. I ain't no fool. Right, right, right. But money never ruled my life, homie. No, no. You know what I'm saying? I was the same person I was, you know what I'm saying, when I was 15 as far as the love, the respect. Right. The camaraderie, you know what I'm saying? The homies, it's till now. You know what I'm saying? Money ain't, I, don't, I ain't gonna get money and look down on a homie. Uh, oh, the homie doing this. So, man, that's the homie regardless. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's right. like about Killer Wayne. Yeah. I don't fuck what Killer Wayne did, homie. If it wasn't I, for him, I wouldn't be here. You yeah. know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for Killer Wayne, it wouldn't even been no Santana. You know right. what I'm saying? Because it wouldn't have been no Midtown. Right, exactly. So exactly. I tell her, I used to pick Killer up, homie. Come on, Killer, you rolling with me. Go to the swap meet, dress him out, everything. Take him to the house, let him shower. Man, you rolling with me, Killer. Come on, man. I ain't care about nothing. Oh, you, nigga, that's the homie. Right, like he getting hot now, whatever. Man. And, and, and Jody was the same way with me and, and Wayne. Yeah. You know, them might be homies. And, and yeah. the trip is. I still write Jody and help him out and send him money in the pen and all that. Yeah. You know and they're my big homies. I'm a little bit of crazy. crazy. And, and it's so crazy, homie. From the cradle to the grave, homie. Jody? Yeah. The smart motherfucker. Yeah, he beat his case. <laughs> and hey, I'm on some real shit. Jody, Jody smart as hell. He beat his federal. Remember they got him for the RICO Act? Yeah. Uh, no, it was the habitual criminal act or something. But you will. And he beat him, yeah. He man, beat him. Man, Jody a smart brother, though, man. But this is the thing. But that's why I tell people, man, drugs, that can happen to anybody, homie. Anybody. You anybody. know, it can happen to anybody. You know, that's why and, I be and, telling and, people, man, don't be down on your people. That any Anybody could get caught up like that, man. Yeah. 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 You know, and, and this is the thing. No matter what, I pay homage to the big homies. No matter what. No matter you what. Know? 
and and and, and, and it, it's like you get certain cats that so the homie getting high, you try to look down on them or you try to say, but at in their prime, you wouldn't even back talk. Wouldn't even look at them. You wouldn't even look. You, you would not back talk. You wouldn't even look. Man, so, you know. I, I'm in Chino with Wayne. I'm in Chino uh, 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 minimum. And we on the yard and I'm playing chess with these East Coast dudes. And these dudes walk up and kick the chessboard. And I said, what's happening? They was like something. I guess, I don't know, they were looking at the other East Coast dude. And I was getting ready to get out with him. Wayne said, Buff, get back. I got him. <laughs> I said, well, Wayne, this is on me. He said, Buff, I got him. You talking about somebody with hands? You talking about hands? Yeah, guess I was like, well, like, you got to tell me that. <laughs> you got to teach me that. Hey, we didn't call him Ali for nothing. Man, man. And these cats don't know. These youngsters don't know. You know, they just look down on them because probably they, you know, or, or, or on their addiction. Or they don't have the money or whatever, whatever the case. Some of them balling. Some of them balling. They moved on. But the case was with Bruno, like I said, it's, it's the first generation that, that a couple years older than me that I always gave the utmost respect to. In, anywhere, any place, any day, no matter what, I always kept it solid. That's why they still got a lot of respect for me. You yeah. know, even some of the youngsters, I look at got a lot of more respect for me than I thought they had. Yeah. You know? Because they still call me somebody else. Like, hey, 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 big homie, what should I do here? And I, I'm like, that's good. You know, woo, woo, keep up the good work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Be caught up in, in the dumb stuff. You know, if I can change, anybody can change. Man, well, man, I'm telling that's what I be telling them on him. The stuff that we didn't been through, the life that we didn't lived, homie. Man, if we can do it, anybody can do it, man. And, 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 you just got to apply yeah. yourself, man. You, you got to be consistent. Consistent. Yeah. You got to be consistent, man. You got to want it. You got to want it. And one, one of my that's biggest... That's just like, that's just like say, a, a dude is a crackhead. He can go to jail and do 15 years, homie, and, and ain't touch no crack because he couldn't get to none. But the day he get out, if he ain't put it in his mind that he ain't right back to it again... again He's gonna go get him some crack after we've seen that a hundred times. Without we've seen that a hundred times. Man, all the time, all the time. Yeah. We see it more than not. You know what I'm saying? And 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 that and that's just it. You gotta want to be better. And, and like I said, I took a look in the mirror at me and I wasn't satisfied. Yeah. 30 years ago, 40 years ago, I wasn't satisfied with what I looked at because I knew my potential. You know, I come from a good stock. You know what I'm saying? I knew my potential. I knew my brother's potential. Yeah, that's, the, that. that's the same thing I did, homie. Yeah. After that, I'm laying up there trying to reevaluate my life, and I'm like, God damn it. The, what the hell I've been doing? That's the crazy part. <laughs> and, and there's trouble behind that because I still have some dreams. And but stuff. you know what it is, though? Yeah. Everybody, man, whether we know it or not, everybody got some kind of trauma. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And really, until you figure out what that trauma is, you ain't gonna never be all the way 100, 1,000, homie. And, and 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 I use mine because I use mine over matter. I I, I meditate and, and and eat right and exercise. And um, cause like I said, I'll be sixty three in August. Yeah. You know? And 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 I look at life as like okay. Sometimes I look back and I was like, man, did you actually do that? You know, you remember I jumped through school windows running from the sheriff and the police. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, did you really do that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And my wife now hears some stories. I'm like, y'all ain't supposed to throw me under the bus like that. Y'all scared my wife away. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I look, this. I've changed immensely. You know what I'm saying, G? I, yeah. I'm not that same person. He there. I just got him locked up right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Without well, yeah. my wife here. That's hey. right. Yeah, don't don't take it for granted because you know what I'm saying a person trying to change. You can bring you can bring that G up out of out of somebody. No, I'm, I'm ten times smarter though. Yeah, I'm ten times a hundred times smarter. Okay. You know? Same thing. back in the day when we just get it's out. With it. It. Yeah. Sometimes now we'll just kick back and be like, "All right, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it." You know what you I'm know? saying? Or oh, 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 I'll be all right. I'll see you later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. You 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 won the, the, the fight, but I'm gonna win the war. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You know what but I'm at saying? the same time, 
Cause I don't want to get off subject too much. But they felt the same with this. But they uh, felt realize, homie, we didn't been through so much, homie. We didn't did so much time in jail, homie. We not trying to go back. <laughs> well, ain't no going back for me. If, 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 if I decide to do something, when they come to the door with the warrant, I'm going to be like Ma Barker. I'm going to just yeah. unload them like that's my answer. Yeah. That's my answer. I'm just going to unload. That's my answer. It's over with. We already know once we, we go back up in there, we're going to die in there. Right. I might well have court right here. Yeah. You know, if I choose that, but there's, I became so aware to where there's other things in life that bring me so much joy. I got so much joy out of the confident power that I, we have to do something again. Now it may be different, you know, or something like that, but it, it's like that 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 kind of passion, yeah, and that kind of movement that that actually worked for. I, it was two, three years. It worked three, four years. It worked. That I seen some people that's prospering right now, slick and all them yeah. because of that, yeah. Scooty, Don Juan, and all of them, they, they made good money out of that. Yeah. That was the best gang intervention Compton ever seen. Without a doubt, man. That's like, we, we, know what we got. Yeah, we, we, hey, we put that together, homie. Uh, homie, and, and this is the thing. Now that I look back, yeah, me and you did that. Yeah. Me and you did that. Did, could nobody call the people that we called? <laughs> me and they you. Even know. Me we and put that together. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. You know what, you know what I'm saying? saying? I seen I seen Chico Chico ass doing an interview talking about he did. I'm like this fool. We brought you in. Chico didn't even. We didn't even know they were coming. We didn't even know they were coming because we called weeks ahead of time because you can't talk to the people I can talk to on we, this side. We didn't know he was coming because he wasn't one to call. Right, right, right. Well, I, look, I ain't gonna get it. I ain't gonna throw him under the bus. Like so, at the end of the day, he threw us under the bus. Yo, yeah, right. I, I, I like Chico. I like Chico Brown. I like Chico. I like Chico. You know he just all about self. Well, so, like I said, and they, you see how they try to come in with with the politicians and yeah. turn the whole tide, you know. But we got some stuff out of that. But the only thing I want to let the people know, you know, we, the, the, we, thing, we, the thing, uh, that, the thing that really pissed me off, homie. Uh, is that we really believe that the mayor was going to do what she said she was going to yeah, do? That, that that hurt my that broke my heart. And we we sold a lot of homies of dream because and, you know what? that she was going to do what she is going to yeah. say, and it was going to help them. And we told them it was going to help them, and and and, uh, and she didn't do shit. But she got a lot of credit for that. Yeah, yeah, she did. She got, that, uh, my, she got she my brother Keeper from Obama. She got all that from that. She got a lot of credit from our yeah. work, from yeah. the work we did. You know, I couldn't have done it without her. How they going to they going to pull that off without me and you? They could. They don't. They don't even know who we know. Exactly. They don't know the players in the game. Exactly. You know they, they didn't know who we knew. They couldn't have done that. No, they couldn't. You know. No, they, they couldn't have done it. I used to, and, and I didn't. Only thing I wanted, which I got my gratification of, was the senseless killing to stop. That's yeah. all I asked for. I didn't ask for no money. When Cass was getting money, I didn't ask for a dime. I went on my own money, my own everything. Just spent my own gas, everything, because I had, my agenda was to stop the senseless killing. That's all I got into it for, and 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 it worked for a while. And and at the same time, inadvertently, we defunded the police. Yeah. Because seventy five percent of the crime went down for a few years, so they couldn't get the financial uh, grants that they needed for new guns and high risk areas and all that. The crime went down seventy five percent. Only thing that was happening was domestic violence, basically. Wasn't no ride bonds. Wasn't no set tripping. Yeah, hey, man, hey, we had a we had a good run, homie. Yeah, and, and it ain't over. No, it, it ain't, ain't over. It ain't never over. We no. And we do a different route this time. Like I said, when you when you now that you know what ownership means, because I had a father-in-law named Fred. He worked for the Pentagon, and he was out of Compton. He was born and raised in Compton. He was like born in the in the forties and fifties. And he was telling me how they started that Cedar program and a lot of programs in Compton. You know, he was around then, and he told me he said one thing you don't want to do 
is when they come in there, they're going to come in there really nice. They're going to give you money. They'll give you all kind of monies and try to, to, to get you towards certain things. But that gives them the control. When it starts working, we're back people that, that they don't want to achieve anything, start moving in a, in a positive direction, they pull their money out. Once they pull their money out, you back down to square zero. Now y'all fighting against each other again. Again. Because now they let a little people over here have some money. Then the only ones over here, they didn't let have some money. And he told me that. You know what I'm saying? And then I actually seen it happen. When they got when we got in there, the mayor came in there and was promising this. Remember, she brought, she promised us the subcontract to fix the street. Yeah, yeah, we could get the people to do that. We could have made like seven million. She the one that was telling people, oh yeah, get your file, get your number. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure y'all get the work. All that. Told us all, all of us went and got nonprofit. And then she tried to act like she didn't say it. Yeah. Then they came up with the money for a minute. You know, they was like, like, like everybody just dreamed that up. Right. We no, she did that. And 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 remember, I ain't gonna say no name, but they held the money and we're trying to hold the money a little bit too long. I like you picked all the original crypts to hold their money. You got a death wish. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna live to spend that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I had to tell P1 to calm down. You know, calm down, P1. You get your money back, homie. You know what I'm saying? Don't even trip. Mm -hmm. You know, it's cause you picked the wrong group of people to try to run off with some. I don't care who you were. That just didn't make sense. But yeah. he gave it all back. You know what I'm saying? He gave it all back. You, you know, I was like, that was just suicidal to me, you know. But uh, we can get back on topic because none of us benefited from the gang era. No. And it's over with now. And yeah. you got yeah. This is what I, let, me, let me just say this real okay. quick. This, this is what I'm saying, homie. Over 50 years of this bullshit that's called gang banging. And who won? <laughs> Ain't nobody won. Man. 50 years. All these dead bodies. Yeah. The homies on life. Some homies got death penalty. Some homies been been killed on death row. Everything. Fifty year old man. And what have we accomplished? Nothing. Not one thing, homie. We don't own anything behind that. We haven't accomplished nothing. I, I, one thing, the seawalk. I got to give us the seawalk. We did accomplish the seawalk. We still get <laughs> but that ain't that ain't even sacred no more. No, and and, and you don't get we ain't getting paid for it either. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Everything ain't getting paid for it. But this is the great part. It just swept the whole world. Yeah. It swept the world. Why we ain't getting compensated for that? We should we be. We invented that. Yeah. We invented that. I, uh, Bruno know exactly the, 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 the homie that did it first. And it was no They got the new sea walk, you know, the one they do now. But you remember the crib walk was sacred. Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they don't even know how to do the real one. No. I be. I be laughing at them. They they ain't got a clue. Not how to do the real one. They be looking yeah. like they be, a lot of them be looking like some damn robots. <laughs> I be like, what? Somebody like, man, knock it off. I, I tell you what though, because you can separate the men from the boys. You know, all them dudes see walking and all this. There were certain gang members you wasn't doing that in front of. Yeah, unless you were ready to go. You know, we, now I when I used to see walk at Dominguez. I before I dressed to fight before school. I knew I was gonna get into a fight before I even got there. Yeah. So if I went to a party, I knew we was getting ready. To, this was the plan before we got there. So I get in there, sea walking, the real sea walk. You know what I'm saying? Throwing it up, you know, all the time. But that that's that meant that was a war dance, like the Indians had war dances. Yeah, yeah. That was a war dance. When you did the crip walk and it was pyrus in there, that's a war dance. And they knew it was a war dance. It's going down without it's a going down. That meant let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's go. You know, that, that wasn't no just entertainment. You didn't get up there. You see walk somewhere. I, I get out the pen. You know, I don't even know what a cell phone is. You know what I'm saying? I go to Domino's Pizza, you know what I'm saying? Because I had to parole out here. You know, I got I have met my um, first wife, Connie. And we stayed uh, uh, around the corner from a, a Domino's Pizza. 
I go into the pizza place, I see some white boys in the front seat walking. And I'm like, man, y'all know what that is? I let the wrong people see y'all, y'all hands is done, y'all done. But I didn't know how much it had changed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, like I said, I didn't know what a cell phone was. I thought I, I went to buy a cell phone and bought a walkie talkie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So I was like, let me get let me get back to, to, to some normalcy. You know what I'm saying? And I went straight to work. Yeah. I went straight to work. Got on parole, everything. Gave them their number back. Everything. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was so proud of you, homie. I'm right. like, that's right. Yeah, that's I, just, right. I just gave them my number back, baby. Man, man. man. 10 years and six months, man. I didn't know when we was, remember we went to El Dorado Park that day? And yeah, the police got there before us, so it was a rat somewhere. They got there before us. Yeah. And you told me, Bub, I can't stay. I'm on parole. I didn't know he was on parole. I thought he was on parole. You said, but I'm still on paper. I, right. I was still on paper. Yeah, I was still on paper. I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know you said something. I'm like, we got to get out of here then. You know what I'm saying? Because they were just taking anybody to jail for anything. Yeah. So they took the homie from East Coast. We yeah. booked him yeah. somewhere else, though. Yeah. They was on some bull crap. Yeah. And it was crazy. So I'm like, I, I still couldn't figure out how they get to the park before us, homie. Yeah. And we didn't put it on social media or nothing. Somebody was in there. Somebody in there. Somebody. Yeah. somebody yeah. Either, either somebody told or they told somebody they shouldn't have told. Right, right, right. Because when I, I'm coming down to 605, I'm coming from Vegas, me and Tick. When we coming down to 605, I see a gang of Long Beach police in the park. I say, somebody must have did something. Or they there to, you know, whatever, doing a routine, whatever. When we yeah. get there, we pull inside the park. We park. We see gang task force. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Long Beach City. I like what y'all. And they knew right who we was. Yeah. They came right to us. Like, yep, yeah, let's get up out of here. I like, we out of here. It went well at the end of the day. It, so we went to another part. It went well. We still got to do what we – but you know what? It's crazy because we were there for nonviolence. We was we was there for the gang intervention. We wasn't there gang banging. Exactly. But it, it, when you look at it, they didn't want us doing what we were doing. No. That we that keep more threat to them. That was more threat to than anything. Trying to act like they want to stop. They know if they stop the gang violence, man, half of them ain't going to be on the porch no more. And, and they don't get that $100,000 a year and all that. That extra bonus. They, they know promotion. that. If they, if we, man, if they ain't trying to really stop gang banging. No, oh, they could have been stopping. They, they, they know if they do, their job's in jeopardy. Yeah. Well, they closed down them private prisons, all that. All that closed down. But listen, man, I, can't, I, just, I just want to tell these youngsters, man, that at the end of the day, man, y'all young, homie, live your life, man. You know and, what I'm saying? Live your best life, man. And, gee, you know I, I, I know it's different, and I listen to some of them, too. And I listen to some of them, because I talk to some of my little homies that are, they, they newborns now. You know that, how many generations is that? Newborn? Yeah. Next thing you know, y'all gonna be from the fetus hood. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I talk to them and I listen to them and I tell them, I explain to them. You know what I'm saying? If, if you're gonna do this, y'all make sure y'all watch each other and y'all make sure y'all start having allies instead of enemies, instead of ops, because they don't know what power is. They never seen the Compton car when it was just OCC. Yeah. Or when the CC Riders got together, yeah. when it was no set tripping, we didn't set trip with LA, Watts, nothing. It's always been hub and a dub, and they didn't know what power is because the police didn't even couldn't stop us. When we was walking hundred, then we used to have a meeting every month hmm. at South Park or Kelly Park, or uh, 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 we just was turning West Park into Crips because they was West Park Fire Root. You know, yeah. we had to turn parks into Crips. Yeah. Park, you know what I'm saying? You know, so. We had two, three hundred people walk down the homie Batman and all them from L.A. and uh, and all them was coming and kicking it with us, Tookie and because Tookie moved to the Red House, you know, and they had Bob Simmons on Atlantic Drive, 
Yeah. You know, and all that. So we I seen the transition. I seen the US. It was us boys. It was you and the Rue, half of Pyro Rue and half Turn Crip when Timothy Blood and Puddin got into it. And I, I watched the Pat Ass family, the first low riders. I seen the whole thing. I seen the whole thing, homie. And it was it was so lovely. It was so lovely to where the, the, we didn't have people videotaping you getting beat or shot. They didn't they didn't come at us like that. Yeah. They gave us that respect. You know what I'm saying? And that's what the, when you have unity, you get all the respect in the world. When you separated the art of war, Sun Tzu is divide and conquer to make me think you up close when I'm far away, to make you think I'm far away when I'm right up on you. Yeah. That's the art of war and to divide everybody up. While y'all killing each other, I'm going to starve you to death, put the narrative out there that y'all psychopaths are going to wipe you out. They've been doing us like that since we've been here. So I'll tell you. But they, but, but, they, but they fail to realize, though, is they can't. They, you they, know. no matter which, we strong. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They, they know who we are. Uh, if, they another, know who we are. if another race would have been through what we've been through, they wouldn't even be here no more. Gee, ain't but about four Indians left. You know? They did, they gave the Indians, I mean the Native Americans, all these casinos and shit for reparations. They they should have been paying us because come to find out, it was it was it was blacks here before the Indians. The Moors, the Moors brought Columbus here. Man. You know what I'm saying? And that's why they want to get rid of that critical race theory. Because yeah. we know now that they know that they gave the natives the so-called Indians that they labeled reparations, they got to give it to us because we the same thing. Yeah, same exact, and 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 if you notice, just like your Kamala Harris, your Barack Obamas, your your they they never put in office a black person that was descended of a slave. Yeah, these That's Negroes right. are, are are built. Yeah, they, they don't feel the brunt that we feel. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's why they don't. If you ever see any brother in any political power. He's either so whitewashed, like your Clarence Thomas with a white wife and all that, or he's he's not a descendant of slave. He's a mulatto. You know what I'm saying? He was his mother was white and his grandfather was African over in Zimbabwe somewhere. Or they're not they not foundational Black Americans. That's why I like Tariq Nasheed. We're foundational Black Americans. We're anti. Well, we Afro Semitic. We all that. We ain't gonna let them separate us. Yeah. I love the Nation of Islam. I love the Christian Church. I love. I love it all, and I can converse with all of them. Yeah, I studied all their doctrine. You know what I'm saying? So I won't come up there and talk about uh, belittle them. And somebody say "Assalamu alaikum," and you say, "Well, I drive a Lincoln too." You know what I'm saying? And you sound it, but you don't know what you're doing. You're making a buffoon out of yourself. Exactly. You know, Elijah Muhammad did something that no other uh, uh, religious did in this country. Elijah Muhammad took dope dealers, wine notes. Pimps, pushers, players, hustlers, uh, uh, and made upstanding men and women out of them. Yeah. Sold them up way better than Betty Ford. They had the best uh, 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 drug addictions uh, 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 intervention in the world. But you don't want to give them credit for that. You give them credit because they're not Christian. You don't like them because they don't believe in uh, blind haired, blue eyed Jesus. You know what I'm saying? You, we can't let them separate us. Elijah Muhammad. And Malcolm X and Muhammad Ali, these people did such as some of the greatest stuff in our culture that it is. So you pay homage to that. I look at the Crips. Y'all did some. It was backwards, but y'all did some of the hardest gangbanging I've ever seen in my life. Why we can't take it? Now, Crips spread it all over the world. Like I was talking about the sea walk and rap. Now we can make it to where it spread all over the world, the unity part. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? The, the get together part, to save ourselves. But like you know, I if we could do it, if we could do it in America, everything else gonna follow. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Everything gonna follow America, man. Yeah. If we, I'm just, I'm saying, we need to, we need to get together, open our own banks. Hey, homie, we gotta get together. We we spend more money than any race on in, in, in the United States. We were taught that, G. We don't know no better. I, when I was going to school, I never knew nothing about no investment. I invest money now. Yeah. I thought putting it in the savings account was the thing. Oh, I got 10 grand in the savings account. I got yeah. 20 grand in the savings account. And it was like subtracted every time. 
You know what I'm saying? Every time I took something out, I had to get some instead of putting it in a, 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 a mutual fund. Not all my eggs in one basket. And invest in my own businesses. I, you know what I'm saying? My own tools and invested in myself with a money double. Yeah. You know? I'm going on vacation now. Who would have thought I'd be swimming in dolphins? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, and kayaking. You, you know what I'm saying? You would have been out there trying to stick a dolphin. Yeah, <laughs> he'd have been tuna fish. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, for real. Well, hey, yeah, man, so, Bob, hey, it's been a pleasure, homie. Always, homie. I'm going to call you because we got some stuff to do anyway. Yeah, we got stuff to do, homie. Yeah. Well, you, know, you know it ain't nothing but love, homie. You already always, homie. always have been. Always yeah. have been. Always have been, homie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh we hey, like I tell everybody on here, homie, we got something to finish. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. We got we, we got something we accomplish, we accomplish some of these goals. Let me look at it like this, homie. Uh, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, all them homies, they gave their lives. Right. They they made it to where we ain't got to worry about getting beat, getting hung, getting the dogs biting us, water holes down, took to jail. We ain't even got to march no more, homie. Nope. All we got doing us no good, no way. Ever. All we got to do is come together, homie, and, and, and respect each other, homie. <laughs> And then and just to and then unite as one and it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's, it's a, a wrap. wrap. It's gonna happen. It, so it, 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 to finish their work, homie. We gotta finish our work. <laughs> Even if, if we just the ones that's starting to finish. You, you know, know what? what I'm right. I, I even, even if we don't get to see it, I somebody can rest in got, peace. Somebody got to finish that work, man. I, I can I, I I can rest in peace knowing I did my best. I did my exactly. I did my best, and I'm not giving up. You know, no, I ain't never giving up. No, we didn't. Man, no. Mm -mm. We ain't going to give up, homie. You know what I'm saying? Hey, homie, I just thank you for coming on, man. Oh, any, anytime, G. You know how we do it. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, everybody on here, man, share this podcast, man. Like I tell y'all every night, man. If, if, how people going to know what we're doing if they don't, if, if, if they don't see it? You know, and, and you know I'm a big fan anyway. You know, I, I, I'm a big fan of you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm a big fan. You and a few other homies I watch. You know, you know. Hey, who who would have thought that me and you would be like this? <laughs> Especially when I used to come over there. I ain't gonna say that, but when I used to come over. <laughs> hey, who would have thought we would have been like this, homie? The way we was back in the day. This was nobody. Nobody. We. I sure didn't, show didn't think, nigga. I thought it was. It was. I thought it was crip and fuck everything else forever. For life. For exactly. life. Because that's the way we that keep. Was, it. Yeah. For life. I never thought, but we we grew up. Yeah. We grew up. As simple as that. We grew up, homie. Yeah. We grew up, and we men now. And when you become a man, you put childish things away. You got that right. Yeah. But okay. Until next time. Okay, hey man, nothing but love, bubs. All right, peace. All right, one love, baby. I need everybody to let all share this podcast, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the uh, only way people gonna know what we're doing is if they is if they see it and they can hear it. So I need I need people I need everybody on here to share it, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let's get them likes up, man. Hit them likes, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, for these youngsters out there, man, it's over for the game banging. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, don't nobody benefit. We don't benefit. The police benefit. The hospitals benefit. The jails benefit. Come on, man. Insurance companies benefit. Everybody, man, look, homie. Don't know. We don't get nothing out of this, homie. All we get is pain. All we get is, is suffering, homie. We get one dead, one in prison. Come on, man. Everybody out there that think they're OG or call themselves OG or BG or OBG or whatever G or YG or a hoodster or whatever you want to call it, a gangster. Hey, man, if you love your homies, huh, you ain't going to guide them the wrong way, man. You would tell them, man, 
You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna tell. I ain't gonna never tell nobody don't protect themselves. You know what I'm saying? Never that. You know what I'm saying? But you don't got to go looking for it. You know you don't got to go out there to start it. You know, man. Get your girl, man. Have your kids live your life, man. You know what I'm saying? Make something positive out your lives, man. Because we all here for a reason, man. Who would have thought, you know what I'm saying, that I, me, all people, homie, would have been back, would have been doing what I'm doing right now, man. I never would have thought this in a million years. Mm-hmm. If somebody would have to laugh, they ass it, man, I would have laughed them up. If you don't get out my face, nigga, this crib, fool the block. That's how I was. But God changed me, man. You know what I'm saying? He will soften your heart. <laughs> Believe that. You know, he ain't finished with me. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't finished, so don't y'all get it twisted. Uh, I I'm not, hey, I'm, I'm still me. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, I'm trying to be a better me, you know? All the way around the board, man. And even when I'm a better me, there's certain things I'm not going to accept. You know what I'm saying? As a man. You know what I'm saying? But I love all y'all, man. I want to thank all the G-Riders for checking in. I want to thank all the people that's not G-Riders for checking in. Miss Fee, I want to thank you for checking in, home girl. Appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? And hey, everybody that ain't donated to the uh, to the go go fund me, go hit that go fund me, man. You know what I'm saying? We trying to build, we trying to open up a youth center in Compton, the first vocational center for youth. So go hit that boat, go hit that go fund me and donate something, man. Ain't nothing too small, ain't nothing too big. Whatever you can do, do, homie. I'm not telling you if I ain't asking for your your mortgage money, your rent money, your car note. Whatever you can do, just do it, man. You know what I'm saying? That, that's all we're trying to do on here. Caleb, you got something you want to say? And just much love to you, man. Uh, salute to the G-Riders. And uh, y'all keep coming back. We love y'all. Salute. Hey, uh, they not crazy, but the boy say, what you think, Jay? Should I go check uh, mofos and see what? Leave me alone, homie. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you end up having to do something that you, you know what I'm saying, you can get caught up for, man, over seawalk. Don't even worry about it, homie. You know what I'm saying? That's real. Don't worry about that. Yeah. 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 You get your ass beat, see Walker, if you wasn't a crib. Yeah, you, you still will, depending on where you at and who see you. You know what I'm saying? That's real. You know? For real, for real. Man, man, that was, that was my boy, my, my OG homie Bubs, man. You know what I'm saying? One of the Compton's finest, baby. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I told you, I ain't bringing somebody on here but somebody that's real, man. You know, I ain't bringing nobody on here that was back there, but you wasn't nobody. You didn't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? You ain't put no work in. You ain't did nothing. I'm not bringing you on here so you can come on here and lie. That's what I'm not going to do. Not going to do it. But uh, this your boy G, man. Huh? Yes, we are the chosen ones, uh, Caleb. We are. Yes, we are, big brother. Okay. I just wanted to come on here and uh, represent the young generation. You know, you know, I got disability by running them streets. Ain't nothing good coming out them streets, y'all. You know, and it's been a hard one, so y'all better hey, listen. That's I'm, all I can say. Youngsters out there, man. Yeah, they they need they need they need representation. Ain't nothing in them streets two, three in the morning, homie, but trouble and death. Nope. No, it's saying it ain't no hope. And, you know, ain't nothing even open. You know what I mean? Nope. Nothing ain't nothing in them streets but trouble and death two, three, four in the morning, man. He's yep. supposed to be at home laid up with your woman or something, man. Yeah. Yeah. Get some rest. Yeah. Get some so rest. I just want to come out here and represent the young I want to come up here and represent the young ones. Oh, yeah. We definitely going to do it again. Good night, Michelle. Michelle say good night, G-Riders. Robert Richards say uh, good night, Michelle. Trump got it on Tuesday. 
he has to turn himself in. Hey, 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 hey. Huh. Oh, well, boy, you know, hey, you knew what you was doing when you was doing it. You know, make sure y'all share. QP, what's up, my brother? What's going down? Hey, QP, you missed the live last night. You were, you were supposed to be up here, man. <laughs> what yep. QP said, how you get on there? The same way you can get on here. <laughs> mm -hmm. That part. The same on way here, you yeah. Homie 85, what's up, homeboy? Chris Hollow, what's up, baby? RDL, what's going down? Shabadoo, what's up, my brother? Yeah, Clan Summers look like, yeah, yeah, he look like he there. Yeah. That was him playing the Django. That, that, that was him. <laughs> it been him. Yeah. Huh, yeah. Jack Marlin, what's up, love one? What's happening? Robert Richards say the older people remember you, Ken Collection. The, the older people remember you can't collect Social Security while you work. Alvin Williams, what's up, baby? Much love, homie. Uh, hit that, that transition to greatness. Go fund me, man. Everybody go make a donation. $5, $10, $20, uh, 20000 if you got it. <laughs> <laughs> it just goes. Yeah, that far. Yeah, them we don't buy them. This is the greatness. White folks in commercialized all culture, without a doubt, they have. But you know, it's up to us to get it back and do what we need to do with it. Marcus, say, "Cuz I'm gonna hit you." Okay, for sure, homie. Let me get up out of here, man. I got like about ten phone calls. People were trying to call me when I was doing this. But I got to return these calls, man. Hey, man, I love yeah, all y'all. Good evening, G. Love you, G. What'd you say? So I love you, big brother. Have a good man. night. Have a good evening. Love all my G-Riders, man. Love everybody on this platform, homie. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. See y'all tomorrow night, God willing. You know what I'm saying? This your boy, G, man. And uh, hey, like I say, at the end of the day, when you know better, you got to do better. You know what I'm saying? And I pledge never hurt, harm, disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Another brother, sister, anybody, man. It's all about living and letting live. You know what I'm saying? Much love to everyone, man. I'm up out of this B.I. Look.